Hello YouTube. Today I'm making Spanish Delight. This is a recipe that we've had for years and I have just adapted it to the way we like it and wanted to share it with you. Uh, the recipe calls for needing either seasoned blend or a mixture of onions, bell pepper, and celery. You'll need two cups of that and then an extra one cup of bell peppers. You'll saute those in a pan and remove it out of the pan once you get it about three quarters done and we'll be reserving half a cup of that to actually go in our cornbread mixture that goes on top of the dish. We're going to start with one pound of very lean ground beef. You'll season it with salt and pepper and you'll cook it until it's brown if there's any fat left in it. Ours is so lean that there's no fat at all in it that you can see in the pan so we don't have to worry about rinsing it or draining the fat off of it. Once you get that browned, and you do want to brown it on the stove a little bit, it gives it a better flavor. You'll add, you'll reserve a half a cup of the cooked seasoned blend back for your cornbread, and you're going to add your seasoned blend to the ground beef. Then you'll add a cup and a half of frozen corn, and you're going to add that into the pot and cook it enough for probably five minutes or so on medium just to remove some of the moisture out of the corn. And for our seasonings today, we're going to be using chili powder, cumin, onion powder, garlic powder, paprika, and a little bit of black pepper and more salt. We're going to take and add one and a half tablespoons of chili powder, one teaspoon onion powder, one teaspoon garlic powder, half a teaspoon of paprika, half a teaspoon of cumin, and half a teaspoon of black pepper. Uh, it'll take probably about a teaspoon of salt for this whole recipe so if you add part of it to the ground beef you'll need to add the rest of it into this mixture. Then we took a large can of petite diced tomatoes approximately around you'll probably need at least around 18 ounces and 18 to 22 somewhere around there. You'll add that in a small can of tomato sauce to this mixture. You're going to cook it on medium to medium high for approximately around 10 minutes. Go ahead and put your water on the bowl and we're going to be using 8 ounces of macaroni or your choice of pasta. I'm actually using what they call a screw tail pasta. It's a macaroni noodle that has it's more in an S type shape and you'll need to cook those until they're done. Use the directions on your pasta bag for how long you'll need to cook your pasta. After this mixture of your meat mixture has cooked for around 10 minutes, get you a spoon, cool it down enough to where you can taste it and see if it needs any more salt. If it does, add it at this time. Go ahead and preheat your oven to 350 degrees because we are going to be putting this in the oven and we're fixing to mix up a cornbread mixture that we're going to pour on top. We're going to go ahead and mix our dry ingredients up and they are one and one half cups of, we're using stone ground cornmeal, one and one half cups of all purpose flour, five heaping tablespoons of powdered milk or you can just use regular milk for your liquid, heaping tablespoon of baking powder, one teaspoon of salt, one tablespoon of sugar. You're going to mix all of your dry ingredients together and then we're going to add either two tablespoons of oil or one tablespoon of bacon drippings. And you do want to heat those bacon drippings a little bit before you pour them in. It just gives it a little bit better flavor. You're going to take the half a cup of seasoned blend pepper mix and you're going to add this to the dry cornmeal mix. Then you're going to take a whole jalapeno and slice it up in a little, dice it up real small, kind of mince it up. I remove the seeds from mine. If you like more heat, you can leave the seeds. Uh, half of this jalapeno I'm going to add to our mix mixture and the other half we're going to be putting in the dry cornbread mix. Go ahead and add that at this time and mix all your dry ingredients real well with your onions and bell peppers and all in your dry mix. To the dry mix we're going to add 
or water or milk, whichever you chose to use. You're going to add enough just room temperature water or straight out of the faucet. Approximately around maybe a cup, a little less. Just add it a little bit at a time and mix it. And you're going to have it as a thick, you're going to get it to where it has a thick um, cake batter type consistency. It's not going to be thin and runny. It's going to be thick. On, we're going to pour our meat mixture into a large pan. We use a 12 by 18 by 1 and 3 quarter inches deep pan or you can use a large lasagna pan. You pour your meat mixture in it and spread it out evenly. To this we're going to be adding some American cheese. And we bought our, buy our American cheese through the deli and you can have them even slice it for you in regular slices. And you're going to completely cover all the meat mixture in this thin slice of cheese. Because you're going to be pouring your cornbread on top and it just bakes a little bit better if you've got that layer of cheese there. But if you don't like cheese, you do not have to add it. We're going to then take our cornbread mixture that is at a thick cake batter consistency and pour it over the cheese. Take a spatula and real lightly spread it out evenly on the pan. Going to stick it in the oven at 350 degrees, bake it for approximately 25 to 30 minutes until it's golden brown. Then you'll let it cool for approximately 10 minutes, 10 minutes and serve it, and you're ready to eat. It's a great one dish meal. It has all your food groups in it that you need for your balanced diet. Uh, we always eat ours with a salad. <clears throat> Hope you enjoyed this recipe. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. We do answer all questions or comments. Hope you have a great day, and this is the Pressure Prepper, and I'm out.